I honestly do not know how long we are going to be at the hospital. Um, they asked us to come along with our scraps, so that means we might be going to theater today. So, um, I really wouldn't want to carry my laptop, so I'm just going to take the tablet instead, and I'm just going to transfer. Just going to transfer some files onto onto the tablets. Okay, then we'll be on our way. I still have to finish this cup of tea. It's already 8.15 and if I don't get going, I'm actually going to be late. I always say guys, you never really know the type of day you're gonna have, so never forget to take your snacks along. So it's currently 8.25, so it takes me about 10 minutes to get to the hospital in. So I'm gonna be late. The first time we actually met this doctor, he was late, so I'm actually kind of counting on him being late for the first class hoping that he's late for this class as well because oh god for some reason for the past couple of days i just can't seem to be punctual i just can't seem to get to places on time because i woke up at seven i was done by eight but somehow i'm still late it just doesn't make sense okay so i better stop vlogging and just like keep walking till i get there and gynecology call side room um, we're currently in the anesthesia rotation but I think I have a class on epidural and spinal anesthesia so I have a right me hello we are currently in the anesthesia rotation and um, we're supposed to be here by 8 and then it's 8 40 and i'm so not late because we have just four people in the class right now so i think we're going to go to the theater today because we asked for my scarves as i was saying and we actually came to the obstetrics and gynecology um, i have no idea but i think we have a class on epidural anesthesia and spinal anesthesia so that's probably why we are here. So let's just wait and see Essentially, the class turned into a panel discussion because apparently the doctor had an emergency and was late. So, yeah, enjoy my classmates' discussion. So, after about two hours of waiting, the doctor finally came. He had finished with his emergency and we're ready to kickstart the day. So, as I was telling you guys earlier, we are studying epidural and spinal anesthesia today. So, basically, the drugs and the equipment we use, the different kind of needles and essentially the procedure as well so we have the anesthetist over there demonstrating how it's done so because we are students um and we haven't really had a hang of it we can't really use real patients and practicing so we have the opportunity to use these dummies or mannequins and practicing till we get a hang of it so it's just about noon right now we just finished in the lecture room with all the theoretical stuff so we're just about to head into the operating room to observe a case and see some patients have their spinal anesthesia done There's another one that is at the main theater, which is the trigger. 
But for now, but the part last time is Drigger. This is the Drigger. Come, come around here. We can either use the pipeline or the cylinder method too. Mm -hmm. Or oxygenation. Mm -hmm. So with this one, for now, I'm using the, the pipeline system. So this way, we can oxygen to two this. And this for This side is for air. So. And I see the machine. Mm -hmm. This is the monitor. Mm -hmm. This one is the monitor. So we have the ECG for everything. The yeah, BP pulse. Mm -hmm. Then the pulse oximeter is there. Yeah. By this time we're officially done with what we're supposed to do with the anesthesiologist but we decided to hang around in the operating room just to observe um, the case to the end because honestly we had a lecture at three and we didn't see the point leaving the OR and just roaming about in the very 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 hot sun. We just finished in the theater and it's about 2 10 right now we have another class we have a lecture so we just live in the obstetrics and gynecology ward we are going to the lecture rooms right now for our class You guys want to know about what we did in the um, theater right so basically since we were in anesthesia i told you guys that we were going to observe how spinal anesthesia is given and then we had a we were in the obstetrics and gynecology world and that's where we had a patient with who was going to undergo a cesarean section so we just went there to kind of observe as the anesthesiologist so we just went there to get observe as the anesthesiologist gave her the spinal anesthesia and also to learn about the big machines you saw there so how the monitoring of the patient is done, so exactly the anesthesiologist or the anesthetist does during the surgery. And basically, we got to stay to the end of the cesarean section, which was quite short. Um, very interesting. That's actually my first time seeing a cesarean section being done. I've been in the OR a couple of times, but I've seen just really more gruesome and aggressive stages, like if the babies. And they are just too aggressive with the bones and macheting things at the moment. This was quite interesting. So yeah, now I have a class and I'm in the lecture hall. It's almost 2.30 and you know we just took a cup of tea. We didn't take anything heavy and I haven't eaten till now. I can feel my tongue pumping. I've got just 30 minutes so I can't really go eat anything. But luckily for me, I bought some snacks. guys so i just got home and it's about 6 p.m right now so i'm just quickly going to take a shower and change into something more comfortable and i'm also going to grab something to eat because i only took an apple and a juice this um throughout the day so i'm quite tired as you can see i don't even know why i'm still in my nose mask huh. That's more like it. So yeah. Hi guys. So I just took my shower and I just changed into something a little more comfortable. Um, so I think today was kind of a good day. 
um well we did so much aside from the fact that we had to wait for like two hours in the morning before we met the doctor i think everything was okay now under normal circumstance like we are currently supposed to be studying things online right because we had a spike in the coronavirus cases and we were asked to stay home and stuff but it's just really difficult to study medicine online so um yeah that's how come we have a combination of online and in hospitals to just kind of reduce the number of hours or the contact time with possibly infected people so as you know already this anesthesia is part of the subspecialties as i said earlier in the ophthalmology or ent it's anesthesia is part of it and this is actually my first week and so next week i think i'll be moving on to um cardiopulmonary resuscitation team i'll be moving on to the resuscitation team and this week i was with the epidural and spinal team so next week i'll be moving on to respiratory and resuscitation team so yeah that's it for now and if i think next week is going to be interesting or something you guys would want to see i'll definitely vlog on that but until then please do enjoy my channel um, don't forget to subscribe and you can watch some of the videos you've missed and thank you so much for the continuous support and all love you guys